stroke is one of the top three leading causes of death and disability other than heart attack and cancer. But you will be happy to note that 80 to 90 percent of strokes can be prevented. So to prevent stroke, we need to look at the risk factors. Most often we focus on the, the big five risk factors, which are high blood pressure, diabetes, abnormal high cholesterol, smoking and atrial fibrillation, which is an abnormal heart rhythm. But there are many other risk factors which are often overlooked. So today I am going to mention those often overlooked risk factors which are responsible for stroke. In that the number one is sleep apnea. So people who have snoring at night, many times they can have OSA or sleep apnea which increases the risk of stroke. Number two is elevated homocysteine which is called as hyperhomocysteinemia which is more common in people who have vitamin B12 deficiency. The third is inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, SLE and psoriasis. So people with inflammatory conditions also have a higher risk of uh, developing stroke later. Number four is air pollution. So air pollution has emerged as one of the major risk factors for strokes in adults because it causes inflammation. It also increases the risk of hypertension and metabolic uh, syndrome. Number five is chronic stress and depression. So these conditions also are linked to higher risk of stroke. Number six is use of oral contraceptive pills, especially among those who also have additional risk factors like obesity or uh, smoking or uh, complicated migraines. Number seven is obesity itself is one of the risk factors for stroke because it is linked with inflammation and also metabolic syndrome, especially insulin resistance. So insulin resistance even without having diabetes can increase the risk of ischemic stroke. Uh, number eight is sleep deprivation. So normal sleep is seven to nine hours at night. People who routinely sleep less than six hours, they have a higher risk of a developing stroke at a later date. And then number nine is genetic risk factors. Sometimes they're overlooked. We can check uh, conditions like elevated lipoprotein A, which can give us some clue. And the last is uh, gum disease or periodontal infection. So those who have uh, gum infections also it has been found that it can increase the risk of stroke.